Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a super quick unboxing. Um, so I got CCM SuperTax gloves. Um, I won a Jet Speed hockey stick through a CCM contest. So I decided instead of um, having a second Jet Speed, I decided to trade it in for a pair of gloves and I'll buy something else CCM in the future because it wasn't quite the same dollar amount. But with that said, I figured I'd get more use out of these gloves and I was always kind of a fan of them and wanted to test them out and I didn't see a lot about them online and I was a big fan of the UltraTax gloves as well. And this one fits over my wrist brace pretty good so it gives me another option for a glove to wear with the wrist brace um, so I'm going to be doing that. So just a quick overview of these gloves, um, like I said I was a huge fact fan of the CCM Tax gloves. I have a pair of Pro Stock ones. Um, I tried to get a retail ones, but they ended up just never having my size and the color I wanted. Um, so I'll do a quick overview of this. Got the thumb. Uh, it's called the ProFlex thumb on there. Now it's not as good as Bauer's three-piece thumb, but it's pretty good. I find it's kind of the second best mobile thumb on the market. Um, Bauer's obviously still is better, um, but this one's really good. Um, the palm is their kind of pro, like ivory Nash palm. It's very comfortable. They have, I guess, those extra wear patches right on the thumb on the index finger, which is all seems like to be made of the same material. Everything's really nice there. Um, it has the spandex gussets right there. The protection on this is very good. I think it had, I believe, it has D3O on the inside here. Um, and as if you've seen my pro stock videos for the 11K gloves, I'm a huge fan of D3O. I don't think it's as much as what's on the pro stock gloves, which is basically the whole piece. But for retail, it's pretty nice. Um, the, some people didn't like the branding. I think I liked the actual how the colorways on these, how the two fingers were different colors. I didn't have a pair of navy gloves, so I went with this colorway instead of something crazy, um, just to keep it kind of simple. I really do like how the, the flex on all these, like right here, and how big these cuffs are. I'm a huge fan of big cuffs, and this is kind of the closest I can get without going beyond the enough levels. Um, the fit of the glove is kind of interesting to me. Originally, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but over time, I'm starting to like it. Uh, when these first came out, I was going to buy them. I didn't really love the fit of them, but especially with this brace, it gives me a good option with it because the index fingers are very tight, but the outside of your hand is fairly loose. Like right now, this feels like a very snug fit right here, kind of like the QLT, but out here feels pretty loose. Um, maybe I just don't have big enough hands. Again, these are 15 inch gloves, which is kind of my normal or norm. Um, so yeah, it feels kind of loose in that sense. So it's a hybrid between like a, a really loose four roll and, or a loose four roll and the QLTs. So it's kind of an interesting feel there. Um, like I said, originally I wasn't a fan of it because I thought it played a little too loose, but now that I put it on, especially with the brace, I am a fan of these, so I'm going to give them a shot. Um, I really like the brakes, what they did with them. They're very mobile on your hand. Uh, you can really bend your hand well on this. The one thing that I'm pretty surprised about these gloves is that not a ton of pros use them. I always find it interesting when pros adapt CCM gloves. CCM sponsors junior teams, um, so OHL, CHL, WHL, so they can only use CCM equipment. Uh, before, they were always using the, I think, or CL 55s or 500s, I can't remember exactly what model this, the pro ones are, they might be 41s, regardless. Um, then they went to UltraTax, and now they're still kind of on UltraTax, so I don't really see these used that much, which is kind of surprising. I did see a lot of international teams, like Denmark international team wear a pair of these, so it's just, it's kind of interesting to me. Um, the inner liner is this nice tax armor liner. Um, it was on all the, uh, all, all the pants and stuff like that, so I'm pretty com used to that. I wish this was, it would have been nice if this was a kind of a D3 light on here, kind of more backhand protection, but it doesn't quite have that. Not quite as nice as the old Bauer gloves with the pour on on the back end, but very nice anyways. So I'll be using these. I'll do a full review of these in the future, um, see how they turn out. So yeah, check out for that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hate to say this, but remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Helps me get gear so I can do reviews and videos like this. Um, and also, I hate to say this as well, if you do ever make a purchase or not a purchase for a piece of gear, please reach out to the manufacturer and just say, hey, this video kind of directed me your way. Um, it just helps me again get on the radar so I can grab some gear so I can do more videos. Uh, thank you very much and take it easy.